Welcome to your new Digital Practice and Procedure Manual, or PPM for short. There are lots of hints, tips and tools to allow you to easily use the new PPM. This video will walk you through all the available functionality so you can discover which tools suit your needs and learning style the best. You can download the PPM onto a range of devices. This video shows you how to get the most out of using the PPM on an iPhone and iPad. Other videos are available for laptop or desktop, MacBook and Android mobile platforms. The PPM can be downloaded straight from the CHS website onto your iPhone or iPad. Click Download and the document will open in a new browser tab. Click the Activities button and select Copy to iBooks. The PPM will now be saved in your iBooks app and available to access online or offline. The new Practice and Procedure Manual is in two parts. There are two contents pages. Part one is at the start of the manual. Part two's content start midway through. Everything on the contents page is a clickable link to the chapter or section of the manual. For example, if you want to remind yourself of the test for excusing a child, select here. This section provides a quick guide overview, so if you want more information, there are also links throughout the manual highlighted in blue. Clicking on this link will take you to the full section on attendance. There are also external links throughout the document, which will take you to the relevant web page or legislation. The internal links don't need any internet connection, but the external links will only work when you're connected to the internet. Wherever you are in the document, the footer at the bottom of each page will show you which chapter you are in, what page number you are on, and the black arrow will take you to the contents page of part 1 or part 2, whichever you are in. You may have noticed that each chapter heading is a different colour and has a different icon. This colour is throughout each chapter and should help you to orientate where you are in the manual. Each of the icons are logo representations of the chapter content. For those of you who are more visual learners, you will quickly get to know that all the legal tests and quotes from the legislation are in purple with the Scales of Justice icon. Similarly, the types of hearings and options available to the hearing are associated with this bright blue colour and icon. There is also a handy key at the bottom of both contents pages outlining these from the outset of the manual. More than just being colourful visual aids, the headers along the top of each page are clickable and allow you to move quickly through the manual. For example, moving directly from the legal tests chapter to the hearings and options, and then to the end of the hearing. You can move quickly between parts one and two from each contents page by clicking this button. iBooks allows you to look at several pages of a document at once, which is useful if you're looking for a certain flowchart or section quickly. There are also bookmarks and content sections to help you navigate the manual. For example, the Managing Complex Hearings chapter or, more specifically, the Excluding Relevant Persons section. In iBooks on iPhone and iPad, you can bookmark your own pages and quickly access your own bookmarks at any time. iPhones and iPads allow you to use documents as digital notepads and you can make notes on pages whilst you're reading. Bookmarking these pages for later means you can return to your notes and erase them when you're finished. At the very end of the manual is an index and, like the contents pages, everything here is a clickable link to the relevant section. The PPM also allows you to search the manual. The search function works best if you're looking for something specific, such as what to do if a journalist turns up at a hearing. If your search is too general, such as safeguarder, there may be dozens of search results. In that case, the index might be a better tool. We hope that this quick guide has been useful. If you have any questions about the functionality or contents of the PPM, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us at practiceandpolicy at chs.gsi.gov.uk.